In this video, I would like to show you how to download the data that you will need for your um, term paper. First, um, open up the PDF file for the assign, uh, term paper and then uh, click on this link here. And when you click on this link, you will see this web page. Okay, so we're interested in the US weekly product supplied, okay, uh, of propane uh, propylene. Okay, so I click uh, on this link. Okay, it gives me a um, graph. I want to download the data, so I click on download data and I want to save it as. Okay, um, so I want to go to the SAS University Edition, uh, my folders, and um, I suggest you name this uh, something like weekly data or something uh, to that effect. And then I click on save. Okay, and then I click here open. Okay, so uh, let me resize okay so you have here the dates and then you have the uh, supply okay so I'm going to call this um, uh, date okay date of information release and this will be the amount of supply I don't need these uh, first uh, few rows so I will delete those and then resize. Okay, so I have the date, I have the supply, and I have everything up to a certain date. Uh, but as you can see, it's in reverse order. So what I can do is um, I can select everything and then I can sort by uh, the date. Okay, so from the oldest to the newest. So it starts in 2004, goes all the way to uh, uh, July 21st in this case. So I will uh, save this. Okay, uh, yes, I want to keep using this format. Okay, and then I uh, close the uh, Excel file. I've already saved it, so I no need to save it again. Okay, so I close this. So after this, um, I close the PDF here. So then I need to uh, open SAS uh, University Edition. Uh, I assume you have already downloaded it. If you haven't downloaded University SAS University Edition, please do so now before proceeding. So uh, I click on Oracle Virtual Machine. Um, I click on SAS. Double click. Uh, and now I need to wait a little bit un uh, until the SAS University Edition connects to the server. Um, uh, it may take uh, a minute or so. Okay, I'm connected. Now I can open any browser and I need to type this localhost 10080. Okay. And then it says uh, welcome to SAS Studio. It's checking for an update. Uh, it takes maybe, yeah, no, we have the latest version. I click here. We're signing in. So, okay, uh, we're in SAS Studio. So, um, here we have our files and folders, and then we have the libraries, okay? So, what's the difference? The difference is your SAS data will be located here, and your Excel files and everything Everything else will be here, 
okay so uh, here I see weekly data that we just downloaded I can see this because I've put this file in my folders under SAS University Edition so I need to convert this uh, into SAS into a SAS data file right now it looks like this okay comma separated date comma supply 49 2000, 2004 comma whatever supply etc okay I don't need this format I need to put this into a SAS data format so I go to libraries so I suggest you create a new library so um, uh, I click on new library um, I'm just going to say uh, supply chain management 6224 okay and uh, this should be uh, under my folders uh, okay my folders um, okay uh, and then I'm gonna click OK uh, recreate this library at startup okay okay so this is my library I click on it uh, there's nothing in the library so what I need to do is go to my uh, files I right click on this I say import data okay this is kind of confusing so I just click on settings so it's cleaner so we're importing this comma separated CSV file from my folders okay uh, I want I don't want to import this here I just say uh, change I want this to go under uh, supply chain management 6224 and the name will be something like weekly uh, supply you can use any other name if you like and I'm going to save it uh, and then when I click run it will import okay so it's running so this file is important uh, I don't need to save this so this is the uh, CSV file this is the uh, SAS file I go to libraries under supply chain management 6224 this is my file so what does it look like I double click on it and it starts to open so I have date and I have supply so it's all sorted okay so I click on this it's uh, numeric month day day year year etc this is supply numeric etc so we have the data that we need for the assignment okay so um, I'm going to run a quick uh, SAS program to add to this so we have the date but I want to separate year and the number of week okay so how do I do that uh, I click on program okay uh, I start uh, typing data um, and uh, supply chain management 6224 dot weekly supply okay set supply chain management 6224 weekly supply SAS is not case sensitive so it can be uppercase or lowercase uh, run so this is my input data set this is my output data set okay so it's going to be the same data set so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new variable called week okay and it's going to be the week of the date on which data was released okay don't forget semicolons at the end of every uh, line so I'm going to do the same so so this line of code okay 
uh, will look at the date and it will give me the number of the week. So it's week five of the year, 25 up to 52. And then here, this line will look at the date and just give me the year of the date. Okay. So I select all of this, right click, run. So it runs. I look at the log. Okay. There are no errors, no warnings, three messages, which is fine. I look at the results output data so the output data looks like this so we have the date as before we have the supply as before w is the number of week which week uh, does this date correspond to and which year so this is the 14th week of 2004 this is the 15th week this is the 16th week so it goes all the way up to uh, week 52 of 2004 and then you start the new year first week of 2005 second week of 2005 etc okay so now we're ready to uh, use this data to forecast